of my favorite songs is Peter Mayer's Holy Now. When holy water was rare at best, it barely wet my fingertips. But now I have to hold my breath because I'm swimming in a sea of it. That's been my experience of Unitarian Universalism. The first time I walked into a sanctuary, I felt like I'd come home. And not just parts of me, but all of me, all my experience, good or bad, my failures and my successes, all of it was welcomed. It was all sacred. Everything was holy. As someone who has struggled with addiction, this was vitally important to me. I needed to know that my community accepted me. I wanted to be loved, even though I was, like many of us, a deeply flawed human. And not in spite of, but because I struggled. Because we all struggle. That's part of what makes us human. This month, we are talking about evil. And I can tell you, for me, this one is complicated. I was raised Catholic. And I was raised to believe that the devil exists. You might even say, the devil drove me to drink. Some of the reasons that I developed such a powerful addiction when I was a teenager was because of the ways I feared that I was evil. Everything from the books and music I loved to my sexuality, my very identity. These were considered bad and wrong. And no matter how hard I tried, and I did try, I couldn't change who I was or who and what I loved to fit someone else's ideas about who I should be. In Unitarian Universalism, we don't believe in the devil, and we don't see people as evil, but we do acknowledge that there is evil in the world. And the first one that comes to my mind is racism, one of the world's greatest evils. The French poet Charles Baudelaire once famously wrote, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. The insidiousness of racism, its ability to delude people, to morph and change and to mask itself, to convince people that it doesn't actually exist. This is one of the reasons for me that it qualifies as truly evil. And as a white woman, I admit that I was raised in that sea of white supremacy, where whiteness was normal and everything else was abnormal. This means I perpetuate racism, and it makes me a racist. So here I am, walking into this Unitarian Universalist community, saying everything is holy. Everything about me is holy. Everything is welcome. Even the ways in which I fail. But if I scratch at that a little bit, there are things about me that are unacceptable. Perpetuating racism is totally unacceptable. Perpetuating evil is unacceptable. How can everything be sacred when there is so much evil in the world? And how can all of me be sacred when I do evil things? And I'm working with the assumption that it isn't my intentions I'm talking about. It is the impact of my actions. The impact of some of my actions is oppression of others in a system that rewards me for doing this. And I'm on the spectrum of sort of benignly colluding with this system to outright supporting it through ignorance and negligence. How am I still holy? My friend and colleague, Sarah Smalley, says that one of the great gifts of universalism is that not only are all of us saved, but all of me is saved, even the evil parts. I am saved from damnation, saved from being cast out of the circle. But that doesn't mean I won't be held accountable. That doesn't mean I won't be expected to atone and to continually make it right in order to stay in covenant. But what does this mean in a world that isn't in covenant and doesn't want to be? 
where there is unrepentant evil, and not just accidental or benign or negligent, but evil that thinks it's doing right, evil that functions like authoritarianism for your own good. Well, I think evil exists in the world. It does, and it is up to us to make it holy, to give it meaning, to let it inspire us to a higher purpose. We have to be like Buddhists are with the practice of Tonglen. It's a meditation where you inhale the evil and exhale the good. You literally welcome all the brokenness of the world and you transform it. This is how we make everything holy. In the same way that we make meaning from our experiences and use our mistakes and failures to inspire us to do better, we look at the evil of world, at authoritarianism and racism, and we see it for what it is. We don't let the devil convince us he doesn't exist. And we use that to inspire us to make change. Evil is holy when we can look at it unflinchingly and change. And as evil rises up in ourselves or in the world, as it appears, we say, there it is. We call it out and we change. This is our larger covenant. This is what makes us universalist. The world is redeemable, just like we are. And it is up to us to continually assert this and make it so. May the pain of the world and the pain inside of yourself call you into action today. And may everything be holy now.